Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and in this video we are going to be comparing two really cool tanks. We're going to look at the pros and cons, the advantages and disadvantages of the 29 gallon versus the 20 long. Hope you enjoy the video. Appreciate you being here. Alright, so let's talk a little bit about some of the main differences and of course the first one is volume 29 gallons versus 20. Although that may not matter as much as you think. In fact, we did a video on why there is more to tank size than just its volume. I'm going to put that in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description below. Highly recommend check that out. The second thing is, of course, is the length, the width, and the height. For the length, they're the same. They've basically got the same foot footprint. They're about 30 inches long, about 12 and a half inches wide. The difference really comes in the height. The 20 long is about 12 and 3 quarter inches high, while the 29 is about 18 and 3 quarter inches high. And that's where the extra volume is coming from. Therefore, what's nice about both of them is you can use the same stands, the same lids, and in some cases the same light for either tank. So when it comes to the volume and the dimensions, which one is better? Obviously with more volume, you get a little bit more in terms of stocking options. We've done stocking options videos for both the 20 gallon and the 29. Those will also be in the description below if you want some more information there. Again, the nice thing about that 29 is you're getting that extra nine gallons of height. And so maybe you could start to think about fish that are going to inhabit upper layers and middle layers and lower layers where with the 20 long, it's a, it's not nearly as tall. And therefore you're really not going to have that differentiation. What's interesting is that most fish, they're going to need more horizontal swimming space than vertical swimming space. And so the differences in those stocking options aren't going to be as great as you might think just based on the volume alone. Now, when it comes to the cost of these tanks, you'd be surprised. The 29 gallon often comes as a kit. Now we've done videos on whether or not kits are worth it. I'll put that in the description below as well. But this 29 gallon kit usually comes with the tank, the lids, the lights, the filter, the heater, most of what you need to get started. That's a much more difficult thing to find for a 20 long. We are often going to be piecing the different components of the tank together where you're going to have to buy the lids and the filter and the lights separately. And so sometimes that can cost a little bit more just to get you started. And so if you're someone who's new to the hobby, the 29 gallon might be just a little bit easier to start in the hobby compared to a 20 long. But that height does have some disadvantages. And I think one of the main ones is the fact when you're working on the tank, doing tank maintenance, that extra six inches of height makes it a little bit harder to plant plants, get the decorations where you want. And if something gets out of place, it's a little bit harder to reach the bottom of that tank. Also, because you've got the added height and the added volume, your filters are gonna be a little bit larger. And also, if you've got a planted tank, the lights on the 29 are gonna to have to be a little bit stronger than a 20 long due to the additional height. Now with the 29, you do have a little bit more aquascaping options because of that taller tank. And so you can use taller plants, taller decorations. And so in that respect, that might give you a little bit more in terms of options for decorating your tank. Now for our fish room, we actually have eight 20 longs, but we only have two 29 gallon tanks. And the reason for that is we like to stack our tanks vertically. When you're doing that, it's a lot easier to stack 20 longs. So if you're someone who's actually really getting into the hobby and you're adding more tanks to 20 longs, you can potentially stack those three high and still be able to view all the tanks relatively comfortably. With the 29s, that's not as easy to do. And that's one of the reasons why we have more 20 longs in our fish room, just because as we're building out our stands, as we're stacking them up, because they're a little bit shorter, and because fish generally like that horizontal swimming space more than the vertical, we're not losing a lot in terms of the actual usable space that we have, the footprint, but we are able to, able to stack more tanks than if we had 29s. The bottom line is this, if you are looking at both the 29 and the 20 gallon long, you really can't go wrong. The 29 might actually be a little bit cheaper for you. However, that extra volume is going to make it a little bit harder to work on. So if you've got short arms or maybe someone is going to be a little bit younger in the house that's keeping the fish, the 20 long might be a little bit easier to maintain. Again, fish are using that horizontal swimming space more than the vertical. Would love to hear from you in the comments section below. Which one do you prefer, the 29 or the 20 long? If you want more information on the pros and cons of both the 20 gallons and the 29s, check out these videos in the upper right hand and lower right hand corner. Really appreciate you being here. We'll see you in the next one.